Drivers, start your engines! And here we are back at Rapuna Park getting ready for the South Sector race. Now, remember, the South Sector race is a lot harder than the North Sector. The best of the best are here. Starting on the pole, we have Dylan Pote. Right beside him is Danny Wells. In row two, we have Jack Richards and Tony Calloway. Row three, we have Trent Dunham and Barney Ward. Row four is Ralph Green and Callum Wells. Row five is P2 London and Sean Henley. Row six is James Qualls and Aaron Williams. Row seven is Eric Burton and Alexander Dawson. And starting in dead last is last week's winner, Jacob Lawler. I believe this is Dylan Pote's first poll of the PORWC VA Pro Series. But don't count out Danny Wells. Remember what happened in the North Sector race? We had a real upset victory after Seth Cole wrecked in the final three turns. And the green flag is out. Nine laps of action. And, and oh man, look at Jack Richards. He is all over the bumper of that six car. And oh man, he's going to try to go to the inside. And remember, a lot of cars get loose. And oh man, a, a car just got loose right now. And it's Barney Ward in the 51. And anyone else gets loose? And oh man, Sean Henley, he's in the dirt like he's in the rally. But he needs to get off of it. All cars take the turn pretty okay. But Barney Ward, he, he desperately needs to catch up right now. And Dylan Pulte, he's got a small lead over Jack Richards. And here comes this treacherous turn. And, and uh-oh, some of the packs are separated. I think some cars got loose. And oh man, it was Trent Dunham and Ralph Green. I think they... I think they got together, and another car gets loose. It's Jacob Lawler and Eric Burton. And I heard another one. And oh man, it's Barney Ward again. And oh man, Jacob Lawler and Eric Burton, they get loose again. And oh man, another car gets loose back here, and it's, I'm trying to see who it is. I'm trying to see who it is. I can't see it. I'm going to have to come back to it. But Dylan Pote, he led the first lap. I'm trying to see. P2 London's all the way back here. Eric Burton, Jacob Lawler, Barney Ward, and oh man, I think it was Alexander Dawson. And P2 London, he's back in the dirt once again. Dylan Pote, right now he's driving like a true pro. He's hanging on to that lead. Jack Richardson second. Danny Wells third. Tony Callaway fourth. And Callum Wells. That's your top five. Then there's our points leader, Aaron Williams. He's back here in eighth right now behind Sean Henley. Then our treacherous right turn. And old man, Dylan Pulte, he got in the dirt a little bit. Careful. If you get in there. Oh, no, Sean Henley. Oh, no. Oh man, Sean Henley, he flipped last week, but now, oh man, he was running his seventh, and I think he just lost four or five spots right there, because here comes Barney Ward. And oh man, and I think Sean Henley's going to go down pit road now. Yeah, something is wrong with that five car. As we head back to the front, it's still all about Dylan Pote in that number six car. Danny Wells, he's got in second now. And what happened to Jack Richards? Wait a minute, what happened to Jack? Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. Jack Richards, I think he hit that turn. Let's take a quick replay and see what happened to Jack Richards. And here's what happened to Jack Richards. Heading into heading into this turn, Dylan Pote got loose, and then Jack Richards right there in the 11 car. He was going for the lead, and he almost had him, but but Jack Richards, he was in the wrong lane at the wrong time. At the time, he was running in second, and, and then look at this. He just takes that turn too wide and too fast, and then he pays the price. His cars get loose in the sand, and then he just turns way off course. And I believe he ended up back in the 8th or ninth position. But but I don't think he hit the barriers. No, he didn't. He just had to hurry up and get back on course. That's what happened with the 11 car.
here we are, here we are, back to live action, and Jack Richards, he has gone back into the 13th position, and Sean Henley has retired out of the race as a result of that, so it looks like he's going to get another, another dead last finish, as Dylan Pulte, he is still the race leader, if he can just um, stay calm, he'll win this thing, and Tony Callaway's man is way into second, uh oh, something happened to Danny Wells, Danny Wells has dropped back to fourth, uh oh, something happened to Danny Wells. He just lost two spots. And oh man, another car goes way in the dirt. And it was Trent Dunham. He's trying to battle it out with the PORWC president, Aaron Williams. Tony Calloway's made his way into second. He's trying to make a name for himself, but he's going to have to catch a very talented Dylan Pulte to do it. Unless Dylan Pulte makes a mistake like Seth Cole did in the North Sector race. Quick top five rundown. Dylan Pulte, Tony Callaway, James Qualls. Another good run for the A car. Danny Wells and Callum Wells. That's your top five. As they're now going into the hairpin turn. Whoa, watch out. Don't hit those cones. As we now take a look at Aaron Williams. Right now he's running in six. He's the... He's a points leader for the South Sector right now. And right behind him is Trent Dunham who won at Montreal. Let's see if anybody else. Jack Richards, he's still hanging back in 13th. Eric Burge is trying to battle it out with Barney Warden. And then there's Jacob Lawler by himself and Alexander Dawson. Like I said, it ain't over until it's over. Dylan Pulte, he, he still has a sizable lead over Tony Calloway. And oh man, the lead is shrinking now. Uh oh, Tony Calloway is catching up. Dylan better watch out. Let's ride on board with Tony Calloway. And Tony Calloway, he's doing whatever he can to chase down that six. And it looks like he's getting a bit closer. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh no, Dylan Pulte got spooked! Oh man, that is gonna cause Dylan Pulte the race lead! And he's dropped back to third! And Tony Callaway, he's your new race leader! Oh, I was afraid of this. Uh oh, Dylan Pulte must have got spooked by the by the fast 16 car. And Tony Callaway is your new race leader, and Dylan Pulte got in the dirt again, as well as Danny Wells. Uh-oh, I bet Dylan Pulte's not happy right now. And James Qualls, he's made his way into second. And oh, oh no, oh no, Callum Wells! Uh-oh, uh-oh, just like, just like Jack Richards, he has to turn around and he has to double back. Oh, not good for Jack Richards, he had to do the exact same thing. And that's going to cost him a lot of positions. And Tony Callaway, he almost has he he has a two and a half second lead over James Qualls in the A car, and he is just he is just driving steadily right now. He he is not gonna mess up in that number sixteen toll holding. James Qualls, oh no, oh man, Tony Callaway, oh no, now he gets loose. Oh, I think he hit the cars too. Oh, and oh man, some contact with Danny Wells. Oh man. Tony Callaway, and and that's gonna give the lead to James Qualls. See this is why this is why this is a fun a fun race course. You never know what's gonna happen. And oh and oh man, Tony Callaway just wrecked. Oh man, Tony Callaway just wrecked, and he's gonna retire to pit road. As the leader right now is James Qualls. James Qualls, he created the Castro GTX Cup Series, a very good racing series on YouTube. And right now, he, right now he is leading with three laps to go. Dylan Pulte, he doesn't have much time if he wants to get his first win. Danny Wells is hanging back in third. The points leader, Aaron Williams, has moved up to fourth now. Trent Dunham got his way into the top five. And then followed by Trent Dunham's rival, Ralph Green, he's in sixth. Alexander Dawson got his way into seventh. The PORWC Vice President. Now running at 8th is Barney Ward, shockingly. He spun out in the first lap. 
Ninth is Eric Burden, and rounding out the top ten is last week's winner, Jacob Lawler. Has anyone else found out yet? And oh man, we're trying to have a battle for third. Aaron Williams and Danny. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh man, I saw that coming. He gave. Uh oh. Aaron Williams. He gave a bump to Danny Wells, and he took that turn too fast, and that's gonna cost him three positions. Uh oh. Aaron Williams. You know that. And oh man, Ralph Green. He's way in the dirt. That's gonna make him slow. He just lost the sixth position to Alexander Dawson. Uh oh. As we head back to the front, it's still all about James Qualls. This time out, we have two laps to go. James Qualls has two more laps, and then he'll capture his first win. As we take a look at the rest of the field, C Callum Wells, he's back here in 12th. Jack Richards is back here, then Jacob Lawler. Pretty much, pretty much the top 10 is still the same. Pichu London dropped out of the race, and Tony Callaway dropped out after he wrecked, and then Sean Henley. He dropped out after he wrecked. But I uh, but I bet Sean Hilly he'll be happy that he finished ahead of P2 London. It looks like I'm trying to have a small battle for third. Danny Wells and Trent Dunham. And Alexander Dawson. He's made his way into fifth. Wait, wait, did something happen? Oh, I guess not. And oh! Uh oh, uh oh, now James Claus is in the dirt. That's gonna make him slow down. And Dylan Ponte is gonna try to close the gap. The more you spend time in the dirt, the slower it's gonna make you. And oh man, James Claus is in the dirt again. And Dylan Ponte is gonna try to catch him. Danny Wells and Trent Dunham got into the dirt too. I'm trying to watch this battle. And James Claus is heading into the final turn now. James Claus is about to take the white flag, but he has a mirror full of Dylan Ponte. James Pauls takes the white flag. Hurry up and cycling through the field. It's the final lap. Are we going to see yet another upset in the PORWC as James Pauls is the race leader? Dylan Poteet is coming, but he better not go too fast. He doesn't want to get himself loose. Now going into the hairpin turn. I thought I heard another car spin out, but I didn't. And James Qualls, he, James Qualls, he's still in. But Dylan Pote is not giving up. Here comes that treacherous right turn. And both drivers made it through. Okay, and oh man, Dylan Pote, he got in the dirt. That is not what he needed to do. James Qualls making his debut last week at Condon Raceway Park and finishing up in the top five. He proves himself to be a top contender today. Coming out of the final turn, James Qualls will win round number three in the South Sector. James Qualls wins Rap Puna Park. James Qualls capturing his first PORWC victory in the Ford VA Pro Series. Coming in second and missing his first win so close yet so far is Dylan Pote. Third is Danny Wells, a good run for him. Fourth is Trent Dunham. Fifth is Alexander Dawson. Sixth is um, Ralph Green. Seventh is the points leader Aaron Williams. Eighth is Barney Ward. Ninth is Eric Burden. And rounding out the top ten is Jacob Lawler. And coming in eleventh in the number eleven is Jack Richards. And and the last running car to finish is Callum Wales. As here are your official standards. James Qualls wins at Rapuna Park. The next PORWC races are going to take place at an oval. So be sure to watch out for that race fans. Congratulations to James Qualls one more time for winning round number three at, at Rapuna Park in New Zealand. Here come your points.